غلزايز اوف بختيار نجر ملي اباد ويليام ايرفن ان هيز بوك ذا ليتر موغلز هاز اكسبلين ان ديتيل ذا اكسودوس اوف غلزايز فروم افغانستان بوست نادر شاز انفيجن اوف افغانستان resulting in the downfall of Ghilzai Hutaki dynasty. In the early 18th century, the Afghan subjects of Persian King Shah Hussain rose against him. From the time of Abbas's first conquest of Kandahar in early 17th century, southern Afghanistan had been a part of Persian Empire and was inhabited by the Ghilzais and Abdali tribes. It was the statesmanship of the previous Shah of Persia who ruled over Ghilzai territories smoothly by giving them full powers and free hand to appoint their own judges and make own laws. There was a complete independence to the Afghan people, keeping in mind their troubling character, wildness of their country and their ferocious attitude. A very relaxed governance was imposed on them by the Persian Shah. But in 1708, a new Persian governor of Kandahar, Gurgin Khan, by tough handling of Ghilzai subjects and imposing some new laws found himself cornered in a tight and dangerous spot. The Ghilzai tribe under the great Mir Vais Khan Ghilzai, Stephen Orfinovsky referred whom as Afghanistan's George Washington, rose into rebellion, seized Kandahar and killed the governor, establishing their own Ghilzai Hutaki dynasty. The Afghans then defeated in the Battle of Gulnabad a twice as large Persian army that came from Isfahan and which included dangerous Kuzulbash and Georgian Circassian troops. Edward G. Brown wrote in his memoirs several half-hearted attempts to subdue the rebellious city having failed. The Persian government dispatched Khusro Khan, nephew of the late Gurgin Khan, with an army of 30,000 men to effect its subjugation, but in spite of initial success which led the Afghans to offer to surrender on terms, his uncompromising attitude compelled them to make a fresh desperate effort, resulting in the complete route of the Persian army, of whom only 700 escaped, Khusro Khan was killed in the battle. Again after two years in 1713, a Persian army under the commandership of Rustam Khan was also defeated by the rebels who thus secured complete possession of whole Kandahar region. Great Mir Vaiz Khan Ghilzai in his sermon to the gathering declared that if there are any amongst you who don't possess the courage to enjoy the precious gift of liberty and freedom, now drop down to you from heaven, let him declare himself, no harm shall be done to him and he shall be allowed to go in search of some new tyrant beyond the frontier of this happy state. The victorious Mir Vais Khan's son Mahmud Ghilzai inherited the throne of Kandahar in 1717. He attacked and plundered Persia. The Shah was forced to submission. The Ghilzai defeated and shattered the great Persian empire of the Safavids and as a result, the empire broke to pieces. Mahmud Ghilzai captured the capital of Persia, Isfahan, and on 21st October 1722, the Shah Hussain Safavi left his throne to Ghilzai and Afghan rule over Persia began. After Mahmud, his uncle son Ashraf Ghilzai became the ruler in 1725. The eternal rift between the Ghilzai tribe erupted and Kandahar was held by Mahmud's brother and Persia was with Ashraf. So there were two chiefs ruling at two distant places. The Hotaki dynasty lived under great turmoil due to hatred and enmity between the tribesmen. But the real concern for Ashraf Ghilzai was the son of the deposed Shah Hussain, Mirza Tahmasp. The Sangha Yei, Zamanum Abdullah Ramzi Khan Ghilzai Di, Megi Tasha Khodai Pa Kahar Shino Wazare Warkawi, Melma Da Khodai Rahmat Dai, Insan Tar Kane Kalak, Au Tar Gul Nazuk Dai. The sabar miwa khwagawi O khat che saate darwaze bandegi zorawai Patura marshi na che dukhman ta khair shi La pakhe na tehta nishta Kane ba past na shi au dukhman ba dost na shi Da khudai paman